Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to the two predictions. Um, because of the FA Cup games, there was eight fixtures played and there are the eight fixtures I'm going to reflect on. So for example, if your team was in the FA Cup, I will not be talking about their previous result. But then it obviously be all back in full swing next week. And before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch. Uh, link for my merch is down in the description below. So feel free to check out after watching this video. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Carlisle versus Plymouth. Um, Plymouth beat his skull through one away from home. And I'm guessing Carlisle played in the cup. Um, so all I've really got to reflect on is the league table for this week. Um, for this game. You've got Carlisle in 21st. 25 points. Um, only won one at their last five. And you've got Plymouth who have won four at their last five. So Plymouth are really good on confidence and form. Which will go for a 2-1 Plymouth win. My next one is Cheltenham versus Walsall. Um, Walsall beating South City 2-1 away from home. Big three points for uh, Walsall there. Um, Cheltenham beating Oldham 3-0 at home. Um, so both of these teams going in for the confidence um, for this weekend. Um, going forward, let's go back to the league table. Um you know, you've got the likes of uh, Walsall, who are in 11th, and you've got Cheltenham in 5th, um, literally by a point, and I think Colchester just slipped out um, of the playoffs as it stands. Going forward, I think this game is going to be, you know, one of them underdogs. Uh, results, which one I'll go for a 1 0 Walsall win. My next one is Crawley Town versus Bradford. Um, Crawley Town, I don't need to look at the results, I know what it was, but I'll we'll look anyway. Um, it was 1 1 at home to Forest Green. Great point for Crawley, and they went 1 0 up in that game as well. Um, Bradford, 1 1 away to Swindon Town. Probably not a bad point for Bradford. Uh, playing Swindon Town, who are currently in first. Um, I think I should predict that score for that one as well. Um, please feel free to let me know. Um, yeah, again, going forward, back to the league table. Crawley in 16th, only won one game out of their last five. Bradford have won two out of their last five. Um, Given the quality, the home advantage, I reckon it's going to be another upset and I'll go for a 2-1 quality win. My next one is Exeter City versus Cambridge. Um, Cambridge are the only team that played at the two clubs and they lost 1-0 away to Macclesfield. Um, let's go over to the league. Exeter is second and Cambridge are... In 13th place, um, Cambridge have only won one game out of their last five. Swindon have won two games out of their last five. So, going forward, um, Exeter will be. I oh know, sorry, Exeter. I've just mentioned Swindon, didn't I? Sorry. Um, Exeter did win three games out of their last five. I do apologise for that. Yeah, so Exeter won three games out of their last five and not lost one. Um, let's go back to Cambridge quickly they've only won one out of the last five and lost the last uh, four out of the five so you know going confidence wise Exeter will be much um, confident going forward into this game I'm going to predict a 3-1 Exeter City win for that one my next one is St. Norman versus Grinsby um, Grinsby 1-0 winners away to Mansfield. I've seen the cover, uh, you know, the uh, all the things that happened in that game. Grimsby didn't want to give the ball back to Mansfield and 
you know, Ian Holloway getting that goal or Grinsby Town getting that goal, I should have said. Um, but, you know, fair play to Grinsby for doing that. Um, and that currently puts them on two wins out of five. Um, for Grinsby, Lake Norian, one win out of five. I'm going to predict a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Macclesfield versus Oldham. Um, Macclesfield did play and they picked up the three points at home to Cambridge. Looking forward to Macclesfield, see if I can actually survive this year. Survive League 2, hopefully come and play with the EFL um, over the financial problems. Um, Oldham did lose. Um, 3-0 away from home to Cheltenham. Um, going forward, Mansfield in 21st, Oldham in 20th. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one as well. Um, my next one is Mansfield versus Forest Green. Uh, Mansfield losing 1-0 away. Uh, Mansfield losing 1-0 at home to uh, Grimsby. Um... Forest Green 1-1 one, one, um, away to Crawley. Don't need to look at that because I know that. Um, yet yeah, again, going over to the table, Mansfield on 18, uh, one win out of the last five. Forest Green, basically the same uh, sort of record. Um, but do I think this got to be a confidence um, thing for Forest Green um, after drawing into Crawley? I'm going to go yes, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Mansfield win. My next one is Morecambe versus Colchester. Um, Colchester 0 0 away to Stevenage. Bit of a downer there for Colchester drawing to Stevenage, um, and I think that's why they find them, yeah, it is why they find themselves the uh, playoff zone at this present stage. Yeah, again, um, Morecambe are bottom of the league. Only one win in their last five. Um, we're going up against a very good Colchester team. That's won two games out of their last five, but they've drawn the other three, so they have not uh, had a defeat in their last five for Colchester, which one will go for a 2-1 Colchester win. My next one is Salford City versus Northampton Town. Uh, Salford City losing 2-1 at home to Walsall. No real biggie there. Northampton Town are playing in the FA Cup. I know that for sure. Um, league table, Northampton Town have only won two games in their last five. Um, Salford only won two in their last five as well. Um, but I think that's... Only difference is Salford have lost one more game than uh, Northampton Town. Um, going f going for this game, I go for a 2-0 Northampton Town win. My next one is Scunthorpe versus Newport. Um, Scunthorpe losing 3-1 at home to Plymouth Argyle. No real big change there if I'm more honest. Um Scunthorpe um you know Plymouth is a hard place to go. Um Newport as it stands are in fifteenth and uh Scunthorpe are in I know out there somewhere where are they? Fourteenth. So you know could, yeah it could be a table changing game as well. Um, come half five or whatever full time is on Saturday. Um, going for this game, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Stevenage versus Port Vale. Stevenage, 0 0 at home to Colchester. Great point for Stevenage, I really do believe. Um, Port Vale, FA Cup. Uh, league form, 1 1 out their last five. Um, Stevenage, They've not won a game in their last five, so they are on confidence. 
Um, down up, which one I'll go for a free one Port Vale win. My next one is Swindon Town versus Queer Alexander. Um, Swindon Town lose, uh, sorry, drawing 1 1 at home to Bradford. Um, going forward with this game, we've got Swindon Town and you've got Crew 2. Um, of the top three clubs, um, a slip up for Crew because they're back in the playoffs. Uh, slip up for Swindon Town, no, the goal difference to I flat. So I reckon the more pressure will be going on Swindon Town if you know where I'm coming from. Uh, obviously, I want to increase that gap, and uh, you know, so f it probably is, but I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.